going on my Scorpio gang 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 hope all is well with you guys to my returning OG subscribers what's popping what's up what's good to my newly subscribed hey y'all thank you for allowing the channel to continue to grow I really do appreciate that to my members only community I love you guys to the moon and back you know that this is always a Scorpio affair sun moon rising Venus north node anywhere you have Scorpio placements in your chart Grab your boo, your hookah, your blunt, your spliff, your whiskey, your beer. I just heard Bud Ice, y'all. I keep hearing Bud Ice and Ice House. Whatever it takes to tap into these energies like we always do, Scorpio, around about this time. Let those ads play for at least 30 seconds so your girl can get all the credit from YouTube. Tip the channel. I appreciate all your donations, cash apps. Anything you guys do for me, I appreciate it. Mm -hmm. I love you guys. All right, Scorpio, let's tap the fuck in and see what's going on today. Let's see. <clears throat> um, it has you have cut through emotional, mental clarity. Secrets come to light. Breakthrough is in the reverse. Came out in the reverse here. So something, something um has you puzzled, Scorpio. Something or something hasn't been re totally revealed to you. You suspect something, but you just don't have the um, emotional, mental clarity right now. Just like it's saying, you could be going through something and it's like you're missing the signs or something like that I'm getting. Let's see. You're not able to break through, fight back. Almost feels like somebody has you in a compromising position here. Hmm. Let's see. All right, you have depression, prolonged grief, hopelessness, pessimism, feeling victimized. It's in the reverse. So are you are you staying busy, Scorpio, so that you don't be depressed? Or are you ignoring something? Because you know how bad it hurt you before. Is that is that what's going on here? Like you turning a blind eye to something? Not at 23, 23 I know fucking better. Yeah, self-delusion. Not seeing reality clearly. Lying to yourself. False notions about things. So yeah, that's, so that's, that's what's going on. So you lying to yourself. So you doing this shit again, Scorpio. Come on now. Or this is your person. God, I hope this is your... I don't even hope this is your person. I just hope, like, this shit just go away or something. Like, let's see. But somebody's somebody's turning a blind out of something because, you know, they don't want to hurt again or they don't want to face the fact that, you know, yeah, everybody was right. I do need to divorce this person. This person wasn't a good person from the jump. Somebody doesn't want to give up because they feel like giving up means they lost. It means the total opposite of that. Thorny roles, painful love experiences, fight for love, worth the trouble. See, but it ain't. I feel like too, whoever you, whoever this, whoever this person is that has you in this energy, Scorpio, I feel like this person isn't going to fight for you. I feel like this person hadn't fought for anything in their fucking life. This person ain't worth the trouble. I feel like you keep telling yourself that, but the thorns are reminding you that this ain't it. Who am I talking to? Why do we why do we still have to why do we still have to get pricked by the thorns before we know, ooh, that, that ain't it? Or be careful next time how I pick it up. Or talk to it or you know, connect with it. Some some things we just be honest, Scorpio, we just not healed from. Connections, some connections with people that we've let go. But we hadn't let go. Who am I talking to? That's why it's so important to complete these these karmic debts and these, you know, these relationships with people not leaving them so open-ended and up in the air because it just begets for another encounter with that person. Like, especially Scorpio, you want closure. Shocking events. I knew it was going to come out. It's like, Scorpio, whatever this is that you're trying to look the other way, it's it's about to be dead in your face. Why? Because this person don't give a fuck about you. They don't. 
And why do why why? Because you don't give a fuck about yourself. Anybody who turn a blind eye, you already hurting anyway. You already need healing anyway. But for you to turn a, a blind eye to something like this, like third third party situations, domestic abuse, I'm here, alcoholism, drug abuse. Yeah, it's like you you know. Something needs to be healed here, Scorpio. But whatever this, this tower moment is, I mean, it's unpredictable. And it's going to be like surprise. Like, reality check. Come on, what the fuck is your problem? <laughs> like, for real. Because that's what I feel like energetically saying. Yeah, this person don't give a fuck about nobody but they self. And then it has finality, permanent ending, no more chances, goodbye to the old, but it's coming out in the reverse. So this is like, like, this is like y'all's connection, evidently. Like y'all break up and, and, and get back together and break up. I mean, and, and it keep getting worse and worse and more tumultuous every time. And somebody just keep thinking this shit gonna like work itself out, I guess. Or, or what is it you thinking, Scorpio, about this? What is it? What is it about this? Or, sh or should I just say, what is it about you that wants to figure this shit out? That don't stop at the first card, the cut through when it's in reverse. What about the cut through in reverse that didn't check your motherfucking spirit at the door? I'm just saying. What about it? Okay, and, and and then on top of that, we we down to six cards and source saying pull two more. So you still don't get it. The finality is in reverse again. Come on, guys. This 2023 now. What you want and what you need in your life, this partnership, this connection that you cutting, that you not cutting through, that you, you know, being depressed about, self-delusional about. It's somebody out there for you waiting specifically for you while you sitting here in this delusion. Why are you sitting in this self-pity and regret? Why are you sitting here? This person can never love you or see your worth because you don't. They don't feel like you worth the troubles because anybody that'll let somebody walk over them like a fucking doormat and call that shit love, who am I talking to? This person know you're a fucking blooming idiot. I hope this your person or somebody else because, I mean, come on. This like beginning to piss me off. You don't even want to say goodbye to the old. It's like you want to keep this shit going. Finality in reverse. And what's this coming out in reverse? Memories. Feelings of nostalgia, pleasure, and sadness stuck in the past. I'm glad that's in reverse. So I see you you coming around, Scorpio, or somebody is because this shit just ain't going to work. And I feel like eventually this person is just going to drop you. And that may be the shocking event. That may even be like the origin of y'all's connection, like make up the breakup. Like grade school shit. Like who where they doing that shit at still? Anywhere? I'll wait, cause hell no, not with me, not with Scorpio, I thought. And then we have work, focused on work, working hard, long hours, love at work. It's in the reverse. Now Scorpio, that goes without saying, you know, we talked about this in 2022. You know what I'm what I what 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 I was describing in these messages and conveying to y'all from spirit is that it's going to be a lot of work. You need to manage your rest, right? You ask God for a million dollars so he finna give you a million dollars worth of fucking work. How how how, how clear can I say this? With the work being in reverse, it's like you don't get that. You think it's something going to generate out of nothing. You're, you're moving on faith and not works here. That's why this person is able to manipulate you like they're doing. Because you, you have the faith that you can get out of this. You just don't want to move. Your heart and your head ain't lining up. Well, I'm going to be the first one to tell you. How about your heart and your head don't have to line up for you to just make a good sound decision for you? Now, I know that helps somebody. Your shit don't have to line up. Just do what's right for you. Same thing you would for your child. If somebody asks you something about your child, what's right or what's this, you come up with an answer quick. 
Same thing with yourself. Is this right for you? No. Okay. Don't worry about nothing else. Only thing you need to worry about is this ain't for you and I need to I need to make an exit. You ain't got to worry about who he fucking with, who he sleeping with, who he going to be sleeping with after you're gone, who going to move into the house. Don't worry about none of that. Get the hell on. Yeah, cursed. I feel like this person cursed. The person you fucking with, I feel like they're projecting this shit onto you. Because it's, it, it's coming out in the reverse. This could be witchcraft too with the thorny rolls and the shocking events. And now this shit with the pin cushion doll and the heart. Look how I got the heart on it and the dear John letter on the side. You see it? So whoever this is, this person finna break up with you again. If this you Scorpio or if it, however. It says, string of bad relationships, karmic cycle, the evil eye. It's in the reverse. So so to me, it looks like you, you, you coming around, Scorpio, or not so much that you're coming around. But you realizing that this, you realize a long time ago that this this was a karmic cycle. You realize you weren't supposed to be here with this person this long. For whatever reason you stayed with this person, you got hooked. I don't know if it's sex. It's not money. It's not, this person is not a good person and they're drunk. I'm hearing they're drunk or like a, a real serious drug abuser. Like, they don't work. They're pretty much smooching off of you and breadcrumbing you. And then the overall energy is options is in the reverse. See, I'm, I'm done. Difficult decisions, exploring possibilities, fear of choosing wrong. It's in the reverse. Because I just feel like this is not a difficult decision. This should be simple. Like this, the like the cut the cut through in reverse, I would I would I would have been done right there. I wouldn't have known nothing about, you know. The third party situation, I wouldn't have known that this bitch dabbling in witchcraft. I wouldn't have got to none of that. I would have been like a distant memory to this person by now. You know what I'm saying? They'd be on the other prospect. Let's just clarify here. Check this energy real quick. I don't even want to really get to know who this person is deeper because I, I just really see they're, they're a karmic. They're somebody who shouldn't still be here, but they are. And I feel like you holding on to them for like a security blanket, Scorpio. Like, now that this shit here, you scared? If you scared, say you fucking scared. Because, I mean, the squad, we need to move on from this energy. We, we've moved on from this energy. But somebody got to be, you know, something going on here because it's here. <laughs> Why is cut through in the reverse here? And this self-delusion card is the one that's bothering me the most. That bitch bothered me more than the curse. Because it's, it's just like, you'll be real with everybody else except yourself. Like, that's what you're doing in 23. That's how you vibing in 2023. Scorpio. I mean, seriously. Why is cut through in the reverse? Okay, the Queen of Cups is the first one showing up face up here. So the first energy cut, um, clarifying this cut through and reverse is the Queen of Cups. Yeah, I feel like whoever this person is, they're playing on your, you know, your nurturing, you know, your, your how nurturing you are, how sensitive you are, how emotionally mature you. I feel like this person loved the aspects about you, but it's the fact that you're doing, you're that, you're all of that. You're family oriented. You're like a mother, a wife, but they're not. It's like you, you're pouring into something that has a, a big ass hole in the bottom. And I just don't know what to say because I, I feel like you know, Scorpio, that this shit ain't. It's not good. It ain't been good. It's not going to get good. So I'm, I'm really confused with the self delusion. It's like, what are you telling yourself? Yeah, the Knight of Wands in reverse. It's like you done lost your passion for life or like you, you know, like you, uh, kind of morphed into this person or like you you know what am i trying to say it, it's almost like you change you're changing your identity scorpio that's what i'm feeling like like what the fuck is this it just with the knight of wands in reverse it just literally feel like to me this relationship just has fucking kicked the shit out of you and like you still holding on 
You got a Queen of Wands in reverse. Yeah, it's like the Queen of Wands in reverse to me, just like the Knight of Wands. It's like this person just, they took away your confidence. You used to make people laugh and, you know, you used to laugh. And it's like now when people see you, they don't even know who the fuck you are. Like you just look, you used to be so strong and courageous. Like they're like, where have you gone? So sexy and vivacious. Now every time they see you, your nails ain't done, your hair not done. But this motherfucker looking good. They straight. And they're with somebody else while you walk around town and everybody laughing at your ass. Come on. I know this can't be Scorpio, guys. Come on now. Depression in reverse. Not 2023. These ain't the messages I want to do in 2023. So depression, you have the moon. So a lot of secrets. Again, deception, delusions here. But I feel like this is you doing this to yourself. This is your, this is your you know... Um, what am I trying to say? This is this is you not facing your fears, Scorpio. This is your insecurities. This is this is you hiding information about what went on with you in your in your life. You bearing it down and not healing, not dealing with it because you don't want to deal with it. So it's not like you're deceiving someone else. It's like you're you're. This message is about you deceiving yourself. Still, the magician. A lot of it's witchcraft here. Somebody, somebody is trying to, somebody is manipulating your intentions. You're not as outgoing as you used to be. You're not as, you know, funny and playful and just like, you know, people, people, know, people just recognize you're not the same since this connection. Like they're, they're putting two and two and two and two together and saying, Scorpio saw acting like this when they got with this person. Yeah, the nine of wands in reverse. It's, it's like you you done lost your fucking mind, Scorpio. It's like now now with this person, all the boundaries and all the hard work you did, it just goes straight out the door. Now you're not confident in what you built. Now you're not prepared for what God, what you asked God for. You had the faith to be positioned, but you don't have the work ethic. Who am I talking to? Oh, it's getting quiet in here now. Yeah, I know it ain't going to be a lot of comments on this one, but we're going to keep going anyway. Self-delusion. King, King of Wands. Definitely a fire sign here. With that self-delusion, yeah, I just feel like it. maybe it's the sex. Maybe right now that sex is is filling up that hole. Maybe maybe you suffer from from being molested or from you know being come, maybe you come from a place where Scorpio that I'm talking to right now sex is the only thing that connect has been connecting you to people. Cuz you don't feel you don't feel worthy enough to be in a a real connection with somebody. Does that make sense guys? It almost feels like what happened to you that made you feel like you're not worthy is what you're drawn to to feel a connection. I hope y'all got that because I, I I know what spirit is 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 saying, but I'm trying to articulate it. It, it it's 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 self delusional. <laughs> this person is the same person no matter how they dress up. No matter how they dress up, suit and tie, sweatpants. I just energetically want to say that like why did you keep playing in your mind like maybe this is your knight in shine, shining armor one day or like you're playing you're fantasizing in your mind what you want this person to be instead of losing this zero and getting a hero the seven of cups in reverse on self delusion the seven of cups in reverse or upright to me talks about delusion having too many options your options in reverse for your overall energy. Here your options are in reverse. So really not many options. It's only one fucking option, Scorpio. Start loving yourself and be happy. Stop stop fooling yourself. 
Stop telling people that these relationships got you broken and fucked up. Who am I talking to? Who 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 think they heal but you really fucking not? I'll wait. Who's still going through it with their marriage with somebody they've been going through it with them for years and they still saying, you know, they ain't finna give up their husband. I ain't finna give him to nobody else. I ain't finna give up my house and my car and my money and the way I, I I'm my lifestyle. Okay, you low vibrational as fuck. Because you can have the same lifestyle on your own and still be content and happy. You don't need nobody for wealth, Scorpio. I told y'all a long time ago, you will never have to worry about money as long as you work. You will always have golden opportunities, but you got to work. You have to worry about the people. A lot of us ain't had breakthroughs in years because of the people we kept around us for years. Who am I talking to? It wasn't that God, it wasn't that it wasn't divine timing. And then we keep offsetting divine timing and then coming back and acting like when it happened, it's like, oh, it should have happened a long time ago. No, you fucked that up. It could have happened a long time ago. Throwing it rolls is just like, you you know, it, it got to be a double-edged sword for whoever I'm talking to. Can't nothing, can't nothing in their life just be something good in their life just because it is. This person just, it's a lot of self-doubt here and fears. Scorpio, you started off from a place that made you feel unworthy. Whether this is something sexual in nature or this is just something like your parents abandoning you. Because it has to do with you not knowing how to connect. If you don't know how to connect with others, you definitely not going to know how to connect with yourself. That's an even scarier place for you. You're trying to perfect, you're trying to perfect self-love in somebody else. You're experimenting with somebody. No, 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 no. Experiment with you. Bring it back in, Scorpio. All that shit you're doing for this person, bring it in and do it, do it for you. Do it for you. Yeah, the emperor. On Thorny Rose. You 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 around here with the, the, the Queen of Wands in reverse, the Knight of Wands in reverse. This person totally turned you, 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 I will I say not this person, you. You have totally changed the things about you that were great to slide up under somebody else and steady push them up. You steady forcing them up. You steady forcing them up. You so tired, you can't do the work you need. That's why the work in reverse. You so you so tired from, and stressed the fuck out from doing work for other people and building them up that now it's time for you to go to work and you ain't got no strength. You ain't even got no love for yourself. Who am I talking to? Thorny Rose, the emperor. Emperor, empress, take it out, resonates. Great father figure, somebody who's real self-disciplined, wise, Somebody who was born to lead. Like, that's your birthright. You can't even run from this shit. If you don't know how to do it, you're going to learn the day you got to. It's tradition. It's cultural, right? This person is very dependable. This is what you asked for, the Ace of Cups. But what, what's, what source is trying to tell you? This don't have to be difficult. Difficult. It don't have to be. I'm getting that energy. Um, Y'all know the movie. Dang it, I can't think of it. The Ace of Cups. I can see this boy in my mind just as good and his foster mom. Y'all know who I'm talking about. They they said they, they thought all their name was nigga, but they knew who which nigga she was talking to by how she said the word nigga. Um, golly, I almost said it again. That's going to bother me the whole rest of this reading. But y'all know, know the energy I'm talking about. It feels like somebody life started out like that with Denzel Washington in it and the, the dude Denzel Washington was his therapist and him and his wife was going through issues because they couldn't have children and here he was some in the military dang I can't think of the name but y'all it's giving me that vibe with you Scorpio and to Denzel Washington start loving him and hugging him and telling him he's somebody he never connected with it so he always had tumultuous relationships with people he met a girl but he couldn't connect with her because he he don't know what it is 
Oh, yeah, he see it on TV. He hear people talk about it. But until you actually experience love, the only thing that can replace that explosive behavior and anger and, you know, is love. That's why God and Jesus talk about love so much because love just conquers all. That's real. If it's real. If it's real. There go the towel. You're going to get everything you need, but it, I, I, I mean, you know, God's saying, I just got to make an example out of you. Why? Because you're destined to be somewhere else, with somebody else, doing something else. You're off your beaten path, Scorpio. That's just that on fucking net. I ain't got to get deep with this shit. I can just tell you straight up like you were sitting in my motherfucking front room. The four swords in reverse. Ain't no more rest. Get the fuck up. Now, shit. The four swords in reverse. It ain't time to, to wave no white flag. It's time to fight for your fucking life. The death card on the bottom of the deck. Yes. It's time to fight for your life. Who am I talking to? Seven of swords in reverse. Seven of pentacles in reverse. You ain't fucking with it. This shit's simple. Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Seven of Swords in reverse. This shit don't work. Ain't gonna work. Can't motherfucking work. And the shocking event is, Swords finna tear that playhouse down. The Four of Swords, you got to get your ass up. Yeah, you, Scorpio. And come on into the motherfucking light. Or this shit gonna turn like this. You gonna keep investing in manipulative people that's gonna betray you and stab you in your back because you don't know what the fuck love is. You got to experience that from yourself and for yourself. Or oh, karma's a bitch, I'm telling you. God, God, God not going to let you do it, Scorpio. All the people that, you know, that's, that's, that's moving along slow with this shit or can't, can't quite do it, you're going to catch up. You ain't got no choice. You don't. I'm sorry. I'm just a messenger. Finality in reverse. The Knight of Cups. See, you, you went through all this shit and somebody gonna come and, and just show you what love is like Denzel did. He went through all those brawls and fights, almost got kicked out of the army, almost missed out on the love of his life, right? And then boom. When Denzel grabbed him, hugged him, he asked him, where, where are you from? He said, from under a rock. It's the time he spent with him, the compassion, taking him to his, introducing him to his family, letting him have Thanksgiving dinner with them. He started feeling like he belonged to something. He stopped fighting. He stopped using, he started using his mind. He started reading books. He started opening up his mind. He started falling in love with who himself first. And after he did, him and his fiance, they traveled till they found his real birth parents. Y'all know the story. But until he was made whole, he couldn't do that. He even went back to his foster parent. She tried to hug him. He said, don't you dare touch me. I know what you did to me. I wiped it out a long time. But now, since I'm being loved, everything coming up. Love is making it come up. Why? Because love make all that shit come up. It got to come up and go out. Now I'm able to face you. Why? Because I'm healed. Why? Because I know what love's supposed to look like. The shit you did to me when I was a child or when I was little that fucked me up through with my children and throughout my life, but not no more. I'm not playing victim no more. You getting done with this shit. Finality in reverse? Hell no. The Knight of Cups. Somebody who just... The Knight of Cups is, is not somebody. This is you loving you. This is you courting yourself. This is you following your heart, Scorpio. You are a hopeless romantic. Hopelessly romance your damn self. The death card. You showing up in your readings. You don't like being like this at a disadvantage. You don't like feeling low. Snap out that shit. It's new beginnings ahead. Eight of cups. Travel, travel, travel. Move. Move, Scorpio. Whoever this is, move and keep moving. To well, the Ten of Cups. I can't make it up. Keep moving. 
That's on um memories in reverse. Make new motherfucking memories. Happy memories. That's what's going on. Yeah, the devil in reverse. Uh-uh. No more toxic shit. No more tumultuous, you know, lovers and people who haven't done the work and the two of wands on the bottom of the deck. The people who want to tell you how to live your life, but they life disgusting. They don't know what love is or they be loving you straight. Why is the devil in reverse? The Knight of Pentacles. It took you a long time to realize what was going on. That really it wasn't so much about this person as it was. You not healing, taking time to do what you need to do. To move forward in the right way, Scorpio. Why is work in, re in reverse? It's time to go to work. You ain't got to worry about these kitchen ass curses these motherfuckers trying to put on you. But it's time for your ass to go to work. The Eight of Pentacles. What did I just say? So you got the Knight of Swords for your advice. The Two of Wands. And the Eight of Pentacles. It's time to go to fucking work. I, I mean, I just said that and there it go. <laughs> Knight of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, Two of Wands. It's time to go to fucking work. What word? The inner word. Because we, because Scorpio, the collective, the overall, we don't want to talk about this shit no more. We don't want to, we love you, but goddamn, now come on. The judgment on the bottom of the deck, you got to do some shit for yourself. You got to bring yourself out this shit. You, you, you. Self love. It's time to love on yourself. It's trying to, it's time to hopelessly romanticize on yourself, Scorpio. All right, guys, if you're still with me, hit that like button, subscribe, tip the channel. I appreciate you guys. Let those ads play for at least 30 seconds so your girl can get all the credit from YouTube. If you like a personal reading with me, everything you need to know is in the description box below. And y'all, I have started posting on my Matoki's Tarot um, Facebook, and I'm heading on over to IG and TikTok as well. Okay, guys, I love you guys, and I'll see you in the next video.